Welcome top news today. Stormy Daniels may have video of Donald Trump dating from the time of their alleged affair a decade ago, as well as pictures and text messages, and she is willing to pay back Trump's personal lawyer $130,000 to use reveal them publicly without any legal risk, according to a report Monday by the New York Times. That $130,000 is the same sum Daniels received in 2016 from Michael Cohn, Trump's lawyer and self-described fix-it guy, just a few weeks before the presidential election. The money was part of a deal to buy Daniels silence about the affair. Last week, Daniels and her lawyer, Michael Avenatti, filed a lawsuit to void that agreement, claiming that the deal is invalid because Trump never signed it. Now, Daniels is offering to call off their lawsuit and pay back the $130,000 if Cohen and Trump agree to end the harsh agreement. But there is one catch for Trump and his fixer Avenatti and Daniels say that the offer expires at noon on Tuesday, unless they hear from Cohen by that time, according to the Times report, which did not specify to which time zone the noon deadline applied. While Trump himself has not commented publicly on the allegations that he had a sexual relationship with Daniels in 2006 and 2007, his administration's press secretary has said that Trump made very well clear that none of these allegations are true. In the offer to repay the $130,000, Avenatti and Daniels say that in exchange for the money, Daniels would be permitted to speak openly and freely about her prior relationship with the president and the attempts to silence her and be use any publish any text messages, photos and or videos relating to the president that she may have in her possession, all without fear of retribution and legal liability for damages. What any photos or videos in Daniel's possession might reveal was not specified. Daniels also asks that, if she pays back the money, the interview she taped with the CBS News program 60 Minutes last week be allowed to air as planned on March 18, without any attempt by Trump or his legal team to stop it. As AVN.com reported on Sunday, Trump has his lawyers moving quickly to figure out how to stop the broadcast from airing. As of Sunday night, however, CBS had heard nothing from Trump's lawyers about the planned interview, according to a Sunday New York Times report. Avenatti has made multiple appearances on television news programs and in other media over the past week since filing the lawsuit, which prompted a response from Cohen, saying, I believe Mr. Avenatti's actions and behavior has been both reckless and imprudent as it opens Ms. Daniels to substantial monetary liability, which I intend to pursue. But when Avenatti responded via his Twitter account, asking on whose behalf Cohen intended to pursue that liability, Cohen remained silent. According to Avenatti, Cohen cannot pursue those damages on his own behalf, but only on behalf of a client, who presumably would be Trump. If Cohen sought damages on Trump's behalf, that could be taken as an admission on Trump's part that the harsh agreement is real, and therefore the affair actually happened. Avenatti said in his offer that if Cohen and Trump agree, Daniels would wire the $130,000 to any bank account that Trump wants by Friday.